Okay, so for our presentation, we did mental imagery and visualization. Um, I'm Isaac. I'm Adriana. Then, I'm Ashton. Okay. And then, so for introduction, uh, mental imagery describes the ability of the unconscious mind to generate images that have a calming effect on the body. Uh, this, uh, visualization is one aspect of mental imagery where there is conscious direction of cell-generated images. Mental imagery can be traced back to virtually every culture on nearly every continent. Aspects of mental imagery have been used by Australian Aborigines, American Indian shamans, Hindu yogis, and the ancient Greeks as a supplemental tool to fight disease and promote health. Many have argued that mental imagery is one of the primary human mental events that allows us to remember, plan, for the future, navigate and make decisions. Um, mental imagery also plays a role in many mental health disorders and in, and in their treatments. Mental imagery refers to the representation and the accompanying experience of sensory information without direct stimulus. These representations are Mental imagery has been shown to play a key role in various psychological disorders, including PTSD, social phobia, perspective imagery, uh, and imagery in schizophrenia and depression. Um, mental imagery can also have effect on positive and negative emotions. It has been shown that depressed individuals show lower levels of vividness when imaging positive future events. It's been hypothesized that mental imagery in individuals that suffer from bipolar disorder act as a key mechanism in amplifying emotions in hypomaniac, hypomanic phases and times of heightened anxiety alike, contributing to mood intensity and rapid mood changes. In a study, they demonstrated that intrusive future imagery plays an important role in mood instability in bio, bipolar disorder. There are ways to change those negative images into positive. One te technique that has been identified is imaging or scripting, which is defined as the image change of the course of events and memories or fantasies of aversive experiences. For example, in social phobia, the negative outcome of mental imagery, like performing badly, is changed to new, more adapt adaptive image, such as performing better. Another technique used to reduce negative imaging is cognitive behavioral therapy, which includes Im imaginal exposure, which involves having the patient repeatedly imagine the feared object or context until his or her anxiety levels subsides. More techniques, uh, one is systematic desensitization desensit and this uses gradual exposure to images of feared objects or situations, whereby the imagery is paired with an incompatible response to fear, like physical relaxation, until the image no longer triggers that negative emotion. Um, the other technique is eye movement desen desensitization and reprocessing. This promotes lateral eye movements during the recall of emotional memories. This particular technique attempts to dampen the vividness and emotionally, emotionality of imagery. This technique is more effective in tackling negative imagery that can trigger strong negative emotions. Practice guided imagery. Um, you're gonna find in your happy place. This technique can help you visualize positive scenes and images, which can help you relax, cope with stress or fear and feel more at peace. It is also a great way to improve your mood or relax yourself after a long day. So get, your, get into a comfortable meditation position. You can lie down or sit, whichever you prefer. Close your eyes and begin slow, slowing your breath to a calming, relaxing rhythm. Visualize a place where you feel content and calm. This might be somewhere you visited or an imaged scene of somewhere you'd like to go. Use your five senses to add as much details to your image. 
What do you hear? Can you smell relaxing fragrances such as trees, blooming flowers, or something cooking? Are you warm or cool? Imagine yourself moving forward, feeling calmer and more peaceful as you enter your vision more deeply. Continue breathing slowly as you look around the scenes you've created, fully experiencing it with all your senses. With each inhale, imagine a peace and harmony entering your body. Visualize exhaustion, tension, and distress leaving your body as you exhale. When you feel ready, you can leave your vision. Knowing you can return to it at any time can help you can help your newfound sense of relaxation linger throughout your day. This can help you feel more in control of difficult feelings and allow you to manage stress and frustration more easily. So in conclusion, mental imagery and visualization has a big effect on your mental health more than you would imagine. There has been different studies on imaging including people with bipolar disorders and social phobias, that positive imagery does show effect on people by eliminating or reducing the amount of negative imagery within them. One of many techniques that we explained was systematic desensitization, which is imaging, imagining something of fear or erasing that fear by imaging something of an incompatibility to that response of fear until the image is no longer negative. Overall, mental imagery and visualization play a big role into a person's day-to-day -day life in order to help with various psychological disorders, including PTSD, social phobia, perspective imagery in schizophrenia, and depression.